Hello everyone, uh, this is your favorite history teacher, Christopher Schoenberg, and uh, thank you again for joining me on uh, Great Historical Pursuits. Uh, today's topic is going to be on uh, what is project-based learning and how we might use it, um, or how I might use it as a teacher. Um, let's just start with the definition. So project-based learning is an instructional approach that uh, focuses on students actively engaging in real-world meaningful projects to gain knowledge and skills. Uh, it's a student-centered approach, which we've really been focusing on in these blogs, uh, that emphasizes hands-on learning, critical thinking and problem solving, collaboration, and creativity. In project-based learning, students are presented with a challenging question, problem, or task that serves as the driving force uh, for their learning. So a real basis uh, to kind of formulate how they're going to learn and um, why they're going to learn. Uh, let's go with some key characteristics now. and. Um, since we've defined it. Um, one, it has real world relevance. As a teacher, we can easily design projects to incorporate, incorporate real life situations, issues, and or challenges. Uh, this helps with the engagement as uh, the students can connect real life scenarios, and it helps students see the practical application of why they are learning. Uh, inquiry and investigation. Students are encouraged to ask questions, explore topics of uh, related interest to the project. Uh, this is really an interesting part of the project-based uh, learning, as with history, you can deep dive into many different parts, all of which might be interesting to you. Uh, what came out of it for me uh, was a strong force that drove me to read more into the gold rush and Western expansion. It's one of my favorite topics, and still to this day I'm learning. Through conducting research, gathering information, and uh, analyzing data, I'm going to develop a deeper understanding of the topic. Um, next one is going to be active learning. It promotes active engagement where students take an active role in constructing their knowledge and skills rather than passively receiving information. What does that mean, though? A passively receiving information can be through reading and or instruction and is not as engaging as active. It encourages students to collaborate, communicate, and share responsibilities. Teamwork helps students be accountable from one to from one another while developing interpersonal skills. Uh, sustained effort. The projects are not completed in one single session. Rather, uh, it's more of a sustained effort over an extended period of time, and this allows for a deeper learning environment and a more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter. Authentic assessment. Assessment in project-based learning goes beyond traditional Scantron and or multiple choice tests or essays for that matter. Um, students can be evaluated on their ability to apply what they have learned, solve problems, and demonstrate skills through the completion of the project. Um, teacher facilitation. Students are uh, taking an active role in learning. They are being held accountable for the material. The teacher acts as a facilitator and helps guide them through the project while supporting throughout. Reflection. Uh, this really emphasizes on the importance of taking time to uh, reflect during and after the project. Uh, whether it's through guided questions, peer-to-peer -peer collaboration, and or just feedback, students are encouraged, encouraged uh, to think and reflect upon what they have learned. Looking at the challenges, the overall learning process, and the skills in which they have learned and hopefully mastered. Uh, there are numerous benefits of project-based learning as a strategy and technique um, that I will use in the classroom. It fosters and prepares students for real-world challenges and nurtures an interest in learning. Uh, now we've talked about characteristics and some benefits of project-based learning, but let's dive into what it looks like uh, as far as an application in the classroom and how I might use it. So number one, uh, identifying objectives. I would start by identifying identifying the learning objective associated with standards uh, that needs to be addressed with the project. These objectives will help guide the student's uh, scope to ensure proper alignment. Uh, next one is uh, topic selection. Uh, choice is huge in learning and it promotes engagement, so I would involve students uh, in choosing a project topic um, that interests them and uh, that relates to the curriculum. This autonomy uh, will promote interest and foster a positive learning environment. Forming groups. Uh, depending on the overall topic and idea behind it, uh, students may be able to work together uh, where group dy dynamics help with uh, collaborative skills, uh, which is an essential part in project-based learning. Uh, project planning would give students um, 
through the process of planning a project, setting goals, creating timelines, and uh, deciding what tasks are needed and how they're going to hit their goals. Um, Hands-on activities such as experiments, building prototypes, creating models, and making their own presentations. Again, with the presentations, uh, choice also plays into that. Uh, again, reflection. Um, on, on my side, I will use this to encourage students to see their own process, how the challenges were faced, and what was learned. Uh, this will refine their approach and encourage uh, metacognition. Uh, presentation. At the end of the project, students will uh, present findings and outcomes to the class, teachers, and possibly even to the community. Presentation fosters public speaking skills to help students take pride in what they are doing. Celebrating success. Uh, this will recognize and celebrate the students' achievements and hard work. Um, this positive reinforcement encourages a growth mindset and motivation towards the, their future projects. Integration and cross-curricular connections. Um, this offers uh, an opportunity to integrate different subjects and connect learning to the real world, making it more meaningful. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, there is a need for project-based learning. Is there a need, is what I was going to say, in the classroom for project-based learning. Um, and without a shadow of a doubt, yes for me. I'll use it, and um, I've outlined benefits for both students and teachers in the classroom. It's a holistic approach and uh, effective way to approach education, fostering uh, students' intellectual, social, and emotional development, and empower students to become lifelong learners and active participants in their communities. Uh, thanks again for joining me, and looking forward to the next post. Thank you.